Hey, welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. I'm Tony. Thank you for joining me here today. So a couple of days ago, I did one of my first time reaction video to another guitarist's playing. And that was Alip Bata. I'll put the link up above so you guys can watch that video. So unbeknownst to me, apparently Alip's got a huge, huge following because after I posted that video, I got so many comments. It was basically an avalanche of comments saying, thank you for doing this. Uh, check out his other clips. Apparently he's got a whole bunch of other material out there on YouTube where he does other covers of popular songs. And I did not, I did not know this. So I got people telling me, hey, check out Turkish, check out Canon Rock, check out Goosebumps, check out Killing Me Softly, check out Numb, and the list goes on and on. So, um, of course, I could not oblige. I could not not oblige. So I figured it would be really cool to check out another one of his videos and see uh, what they're all about. So I'm a big Queen fan, so I figured why not check out with you here today uh, his rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody. Now I've seen other guitarists do covers of this song and do them do it really well too. And I'm just wondering what a lip's take will be on this. So without further ado, let's check out this song, Bohemian Rhapsody by a lip bata. <laughs> So the beginning of this song is typical Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, very delicately played, very nice so far. So right there, I noticed that the cup of coffee, coffee that he has there and the little ashtray with a cigarette is in the same location as the other video. I'm not sure if he's recording all of these videos at the same time, but it doesn't seem to be much difference there. So maybe they were recorded in sequence one after the other. Maybe he's just uh, getting a lot of the good uh, reverb from this particular location and he likes to record his videos there. That right there, very beautiful. Okay, I need to talk about that. So you see how he's doing the harmonics. Now, normally when you do a, a harmonic, right, you take the, your pick, you pluck the string, and then you, you know, you, you immediately stop the string from vibrating with your other finger. The way he's doing it here is slightly different. So what he's doing is he's hitting the string with his thumb, and then immediately stopping with his index finger. And um, while he's playing the high notes with the rest of his hands, uh, with the rest of his fingers. And that is not easy to do. And if you, let's just play it a little more here. Uh, you see that note he just played there? That was actually a harmonic off of the frets, off of the fretboard. So he hit the harmonic on the string beyond the scale of the fretboard, which means that, you know, you have to be pretty uh, certain of where those harmonics are to be able to get them to ring out clearly. Otherwise, they just sound like dead notes. And he did that very well. So he's, he's basically playing the tune 
and he's holding true to the original song like he hasn't changed it or put his own spin on it so far it's pretty it's pretty true to the original <laughs> again so you know what he's doing there I mean it, it seems very easy because he's making it look like it's effortless but what he's actually doing there is he's playing with the bass line with this thumb he's playing you know the higher notes with his fingers and he's tapping with his pinky as he's doing all of that and at some point throwing in those little harmonics here and there which is really nice. Nice stretching there. I'm jealous of his picking because he's making it so effortless and you know if you would try to if you would be able if you would try to play this song with a pick you probably would not be able to do it because it's just the style that he's playing it in it's like a flamenco kind of style so you have to play the bass line with your thumb and the rest of the melodies with your fingers to be able to mimic the piano you know and the vocals <laughs> Very nice run there. Nice pull-offs. Building up to the, the staccato part of the song. That, that all obviously sounds like a very Baroque piece of music and uh, probably the most famous part of the song coming up. run seemed very subtle but it was fast and he did that re really nice he didn't get any buzzing notes at all on that right there that's a pretty fast section right there right there Nice pull-offs on that section, the build-up. This is the Wayne's World part. See what he's doing there? If he does that again. that part right there right there so that section right there is really hard to do what he was basically doing he was he was holding down one of the bass notes while he was trilling the other notes with his fingers basically just doing quick like uh, hammer on pull-offs while keeping that finger down not easy to do very beautiful this is the 
tender part of the song. Of course, the standard, you know, harmonic at the end. It really is like low key. And like I mentioned in my other video, these are the type of things you could listen to as you're trying to relax, maybe as you're trying to fall asleep, or maybe you're doing some work on your computer or something. And you just want to have this playing in the background. It's definitely something that uh, you can have going on without necessarily disturbing you. Uh, but it's very beautiful. I mean, I like his playing. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan too, it looks like. And uh, I'm going to be looking at some of his other videos as well, for sure, because I'm curious to see what else he's got out there now that I've uh, reviewed number two. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this second reaction video of Alip Bata's uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. If you enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, there'll probably be more videos like this in the future so if you're interested in catching those please subscribe to the channel because otherwise you won't be notified whenever i post other reaction videos or other uh, gear related videos as well so that's it for now guys thank you for tuning in to another episode of addicted to gear check out alip bata on his channel and see if you like his stuff as well and he's got quite a few other videos to watch so you might find something that you really like there as well so that's it for now stay tuned keep rocking there'll be more great stuff right here on addicted to gear see you soon guys